Yes, sir. 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 I have completed my graduation from IIT Assam Dhanbad in mechanical engineering. My hobby is meditation. My optional subject is economics. And your hobby is meditation, yes, right? Sir. You are from Mujafferpur. Yes. What is so special about Mujafferpur? It is on the bank of some river or yes. any river uh, flows through Mujafferpur? Yes, sir. Buri Gandak. Buri Gandak. मुजफ्फरपुर का आप आर कंफर्टेबल स्पीकिंग इन हिंदी और इंग्लिश सर आई एम मोर कंफर्टेबल इन इंग्लिश बट आई कैन स्पीक इन हिंदी आल्सो नो इट्स ओके कंप्लीटली आई स्पीक इन इंग्लिश देयर इज वन हाउ मेनी जे टैक हाउ मेनी जे टैक प्रोडक्ट्स आर देयर इन बिहार सर सिक्स प्रोडक्ट्स आर यू श्योर नाउ वी हैव ओनली सिक्स प्रोडक्ट्स व्हिच आर लिस्टेड एट द इन द जीआई एज जे टैक दिस सर एज फार एज आई रिमेंबर सर सिक्स प्रोडक्ट्स सिक्स प्रोडक्ट्स यस यू नीड टू चेक अप ऑन दिस फैक्ट Which product of the Mujafferpur is listed as a J tag? Sir, obviously Sahil is it. Sahil is it. Yes. Right. You have mentioned that you follow meditation. What is Vipassana meditation? It is, it is a news. Yes, often. Sir. <coughs> sir, Vipassana is a form of meditation where it has three parts basically. Uh, one is uh, uh, meditation which Anapan meditation that is called where we just focus on our breath. Then there is um, uh, Vipassana where uh, people just uh, observe ourselves uh, themselves and they just transcend their <coughs> mind and <coughs> mind and their physical body so as to uh, realize their ultimate uh, uh, potential you are a graduate from one of the premier institute of this country iit yes sir don't you think that if you could have been in the field of the startup you could have done more justice to the society as compared to coming to the civil services yes sir of course uh, uh, startup is uh, is an emerging trend in india as far as uh, graduates from iit uh, are concerned but uh, my dream was uh, from initial days of my study that i should enter into civil services so as to we can make such policies we are more suited for startups so that the youth can realize their potential uh, as far as i i always uh, Uh, thought that the mistakes that we are doing in the society uh, on minute level should be uh, translated into policy making so as to make the country or the state uh, realize the, its full potential as far as uh, its economy or uh, uh, demographic dividend is concerned you are contradicting yourself you have opted for the mechanical engineering during your graduation then you took economics as your optional subject yes you could have done graduation in the economic subject if you are very clear from the very beginning that you wanted to go into the civil services you could have taken economics why you opted for iit no sir in the initial days i was good in mathematics and science so there was obvious uh, understanding in my family as well as myself that i should go for optional engineering then after then when i went into the iit sir i had developed interest in various subjects so i started reading newspaper i started following politics i started following economic news and it was very obvious very natural that economics came very handy to me in the sense that i started following budget i started following economic survey and i developed some interest in economics that's why i took uh, economics as an option since your option is economics who is the chief economic advisor at present So he is B M N Nageshwar. Have you heard about Vivek Debroy? Yes, sir. Which position he holds as of now? Sir, he is chairman of Prime Minister Economic Advisory Council. Is it a constitutional body? No, sir. Then which body it is? So it is not any constitutional or statutory body. It is attached to the Prime Minister. It gives advice to the Prime Minister. It hmm. has no um, statutory recognition as such. Who is the Finance Minister of Bihar at present? Sir, Finance Minister is Vijay Chaudhary. From which constituency he wins? He wins from Sarai region. Another simple submission to you is: What is the rank of India in terms of the GDP? Sir, <coughs> GDP in terms of sir, it is at the sixth position. Uh, sixth position. Are you sure enough? Sir, yes, sir. Sixth position. Then what is the rank of the India 
in terms of the GDP at PPP. Have you heard about PPP, Purchasing Power Parity? No, sir. Uh, I must be very sorry because it is at fifth position and it has to be the third largest by 2027. Very true. Yes. The might of the Indian economy or the economic footprint of this country, India is at the fifth position. Yes, in the sir. terms of the PPP, it is at the third position. It is at the third position. I will ask you one more question. Why did not you opt for Indian economic service then? If you have so much interest in the economics, you could have done it from the DSC Delhi School of Economics and you could have gone for the Indian economic service? No, sir. Uh, I, I just I earlier told you that I, do, I had an initial aim out in, to enter into the civil services and I have simultaneous interest in politics history also. It was that just that I was reading economics for a GS paper that I have de developed uh, more interest in economics, but it was not that I had only interest in economics. Who has written a book, Third Pillar? Uh, I'll tell you a hint. Yes, sir. He has been the former RBI governor. Sir, R R Raghuram Rajan, Dr. Raghuram Rajan. Mr. Raghuram Rajan and Rohit Lamba has recently written a book. What is the name of that book? Sir, Breaking the Mold. Breaking the Mold. Very good. What is your opinion about macroeconomics and microeconomics? What is the difference between the two? Explain me it in a layman. Sir, in layman terms, microeconomics is uh, is the study of economics at a very individual or corporate level, uh, while macroeconomics is the study of economics at a very aggregate level. There is often a term called as the twin deficit in the economic circle. What is a twin deficit? So twin deficit means the fiscal deficit combined with the current account deficit uh, that uh, that is uh, in the uh, foreign terms and uh, fiscal deficit in terms of domestic economy. I am adequately impressed by your knowledge in the economics, but do tell me, it was often in the news that India has entered in a phase of the recession during the COVID years. Yes. What is recession? So, so recession is the. Uh, 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 sl slowing down of economy in terms of the growth rate. Can you explain me it in a more pack? Then I will get confused with depression also. What is recession? What is the depression? You are a, you have often the economics. Explain it in a more concrete manner in the terms of the quarter. Yes, sir. If if the growth rate of an economy decreases for for uh, uh, more than uh, for uh, three quarters. Uh, uh, successively, then it, it is termed recession. Are you sure enough it is three quarters? Yes, sir, I am sure. Or two quarters? Negative growth rate in the sir, two quarters or three quarters? Sir, I will check again. Who is called as the father of macroeconomics? So, father of macroeconomics? I don't know, sir. I know economics, but no. Father of microeconomics? <coughs> No, sir. I don't know. I have last question before uh, sir ask your question. You have done your engineering mechanical, right? Yes. What is a ranking cycle? So ranking cycle is uh, used in, uh, in the po uh, power plants uh, for production of energy and uh, calculation of efficiency. Uh, it, it basically uh, has a component of heat addition and heat rejection and uh, total amount of work that is available at the turbine through which we calculate the efficiency of the power plant. It right. is basically near to 30, 20 to 30 percent we get in the cycle. Good. And what is Carnot cycle? So Carnot cycle is an ideal cycle in a heat engine where we calculate the efficiency of a reversible heat engine. In, uh, the efficiency of a Carnot cycle is the maximum that we can achieve. However, uh, in, in practical case, it is not achievable. So you are saying that it is a imaginary cycle, right? Yes, sir. In ideal sense, because there are several leakages in a machine, so it is not possible to achieve that level of efficiency. Ashish, just now, since you were having a chat with Sir, there are a few points which you discussed, which you said. Earlier, you wanted to be, since you were good at science, you took physics, chemistry and maths in your 11th and 12th. Yes. Then you entered into IITs and there you read newspapers which motivated you to uh, come into the civil services, right? So, as per this from, look at from IIT's point of view, they select a student, they invest so much of energy into them, they provide them newspaper also. And then what does that student do? He ran away. So, don't you think it is not fair for IIT on the part of them? So, prima facie, it may seem to be that it is not fair, but uh, in IIT also our seniors or our uh, 
uh, teachers, professors, always teach us that we need some people that who are in the policy circle so that our college can grow up, more funds can be provided to our college and also uh, in, pol in terms of policy making, uh, um, it is not that the IT bargain policy making and give more uh, privilege to uh, startups or uh, um, uh, higher academic degrees. Uh, so I don't think that uh, uh, prima facie it may seem, but uh, in, a, in a larger context, it doesn't seem that uh, they prefer more uh, startups or so. There is no stated policy of IIT that we should uh, students. Uh, Correct. Uh, there is no stated policy. Agreed. But as an individual, for, for an institution which has done so much for me, isn't it your responsibility to serve that? Yes, sir. Of course, I will be serving the institution if I, if I am a civil servant because because the institution is not just made up of a uniform set of people who are in just a single or particular sector. Institution is made up of people who are in different sectors, and uh, that's why me choosing civil service is no um, um, it means no disrespect to the uh, uh, motivations or the aim of the institution itself in terms of its investment in me. Okay. Uh, since you said your hobby is meditation, tell me one instance in your life which proves that you are a team person. Because from whatever conversation we have had, it does not appear to me that you are a team person. Sir, when I was in IIT, I was part of a club which was a formula a student club. We used to make a formula car, a student formula car and, uh, and the event is called Formula Bharat. It happens in Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu. So we are part of a team. We, we essentially manufacture a completely a new car that is a formula car, but it is a lower level. And we worked in a team of around 50 people. So and completed our job punctually. So I can think that I'm a team person. Okay. I'll name few index indices. Tell me which one is macroeconomic index, which one is microeconomic index. GDP, per capita income, inflation. Sir, can you repeat your question? GDP, please? per capita income, inflation. Yes. In Tino, I say microeconomic indicator point or macroeconomic indicator point. Sir, I think all of these are macroeconomic indicators. Micro. Macro. Macro. Yes. Abhi jab aap microeconomic इंडिकेटर को या इसको डिफाइन कर रहे थे सर को तो आपने बोला कि क्या है डेफिनेशन उसकी सर स्टडी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एट इंडिविजुअल इंडिविजुअल लेवल पर कैपिटा इनकम इज द स्टडी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एट इंडिविजुअल लेवल देन व्हाई आर यू सेइंग इट मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक सर इट मे बी एट इंडिविजुअल लेवल एज इट प्राइमर इज इट मे सीम बट इवेंचुअली वी कैलकुलेट पर कैपिटा इनकम बाय डिवाइडिंग द जीडीपी ऑफ अ कंट्री बाय द टोटल पॉपुलेशन सो इट इज नॉट दैट वी आर एनालाइजिंग द इनकम एट इंडिविजुअल लेवल एंड इंडिविजुअल मे बी हैविंग पर कैपिटा इनकम लेस देन 2500 डॉलर्स but uh, the, the 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 analysis tells us that india's uh, gdp per capita is uh, more than 2500 so so we cannot tell that it is a microeconomic so as to say uh, it is a, always a microeconomic indicator since we are talking about per capita income and gdp tell me out of the two which one is a better indicator to define the situation of a country sir always according a, to you sir always a per capita income is a better way to assess the economic situation of a country. why do you say so so because uh, maybe sir, there can be lots of inequality in a country and the GDP may be very high, but uh, it may be very skewed towards the upper uh, richer, richer class and the poor may be getting a very small um, section of that uh, uh, richness. But uh, in terms of per capita income, we can see that uh, uh, the, our pop the income is evenly distributed to the lower section of the population, the middle class and the richer class. That's why I think, sir, it will be better to assess. What are the reasons that the economic disparity of this country keeps, up, keeps on increasing despite of government's best effort, which I do want to believe that the government intention is to decrease it, but it has been increasing. What's the reason behind this? And given a chance, what would you suggest to the government? So, uh, I think that in spite of uh, large scale initiative taken by the government at both uh, central and state level, uh, employment is one concern that has been affecting India's population at large because our economy has not been able to produce enough jobs for the middle class and the lower class. Also, sir, our skill development in our country is not at uh, at such an scale such as like countries in Europe or North America. 
so our people have not been able to harness their skills as well as the potential that an economy gives to them that's why i think sir our people are not consuming enough and that's why the, the economy the gdp is not increasing at such a uh, uh, rate as it should, should so be so the economy. onus falls on the people of this country no, no sir just as a skill development is a factor because the government has to invest more in skill development more in employment so, so that people can get jobs or people can uh, create more values in the work they do unless we create more values our gdp growth rate will not be as higher as expected what is kuznet cycle kuznet's curve have you have heard about this uh, no sir okay in 2047 we are expected to be the third largest economy tell me three points jisko agar humne nahi sambhala to despite of being the third largest economy will still be at the situation will still be the same sir the three will be sir obviously sir health education and skill development because india it is often said that hamare paas bahut zyada demographic dividend hai 2055 chapan tak chalega lekin sir agar unke paas acha health hai nahi hai aur acha education hai to fir sir wo ek tarah se demographic dividend jo hai wo ek samay ke baad demographic disaster bhi ban sakta hai sir aur aapko kya lagta hai ki iske chances zyada hain dividend ke disaster hone ke chances kitne hain agar main aapse percentage mein puchu to given the condition which in which we are so i would say that uh, uh, it will be very difficult for me to quantify how, what are the percentages of it i mean okay. disaster fair enough i'll give you my last few questions i'll give you two situations two conditions you just have to choose one one is an economy which is very developed but corrupt and another is corruption less economy with low development which one would you prefer and why sir sir i would uh, always prefer sir uh, economy which is uh, de- uh, less developed uh, but uh, uh, corruption free, free. Uh, because uh, sir cor- corruption if there is lots of corruption then the it is obvious that the economy will be highly skewed towards the richer class and there will be high inequality because i don't think sir that poor people will be able to harness the gains of a, a very developed economy when there is lots of corruption because at the no, end you are the saying the negatives of the one which you have not chosen i want to know the positives of the one which you have chosen sir if the if there is corruption free society then it is it is obvious that uh, the corrup- uh, there is less development because there is lack of capital there is lack of uh, skill development so government if, if the government has the mo- motivation and aim that it can work out those things and, and has a very positive intent then it is obvious that the economy will grow at uh, at, uh, at uh, some time in the future but if there is rampant corruption in the economy then it will be very difficult because the motivation behind the economy will always be to corrupt more and and take a lot of money for uh, for individual rather than distributing in the society what are the chances that if you are selected in this exam you will serve to bihar <laughs> why should i believe this concept that you will stay here because i am of the fact i am of the opinion that if you get a better opportunity you leave this also as your history goes you have left iit you're not doing anything of engineering sort no sir i left iit because i have to serve in the civil services because okay so why why what are the chances or how can you uh, prove me wrong that you will stay here and not go to the civil services you will not try for the civil services or you you will no sir at present sir i am totally focusing on the, this exam i have no i no, at present you are fo- focusing but uh, why should i not believe this that in near future your mind might change and you may apply for civil services sir because sir, i have given three attempts in sir upsc civil services exam and uh, due to self financial constraints i had to give the bps exam so i don't think that <laughs> i will be financially capable that much to again appear for the civil services at the central level okay general question thank you sir you have to finish up some of the minutes